This lesson is a continuation of circles and circumference. Lucy is at a jewelry store. The ring diameter is 1.5 centimeters. So that means from here to here, the distance across, make sure it goes through the center, is 1.5 centimeters. Find the perimeter of the circle. Perimeter means the distance around the circle, the edge of a circle. So it takes one diameter, two diameters, three diameters, and a smidge more, like 0.14. So this is 1.5 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters. So 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 is 4.5 centimeters. And we know it's going to be a smidge more, so it could be like 4.6 centimeters, 4.7 centimeters, but it's a little more than 4.5 centimeters. So <clears throat> how do you find pi? Again, how did you get pi? In our demonstration yesterday when we did the Oreo cookie or when we did the with the string activity, how did you find pi? Move this. Pi is circumference divided by the diameter. So if you know the circumference, it's the ratio of the circumference and diameter. If you know the circumference and you know the diameter, you divide the two things, you will get pi. Because there are 3.14 diameters that wrap around the edge of a circle. So again, we watched a video uh, about pi. So in this video, again, let's use a medium-sized circle. If you roll a circle, it takes one diameter, two diameters, three diameters, a little more. It takes approximately 3.14 diameters to wrap around the circumference of a circle. So if a circle rolls, like we just did right here, if it rolls, it rolls 3.14 diameters. So this is where we get the word rolling and another word called revolution. Rolling and revolution means how much the tire or wheel rolls. So for example, in our question here, if a circle has a diameter of 10 centimeters, so that is from here to here, what is the approximation of the circle's circumference? So we know it takes one diameter, two diameters, three diameter, so it would be a little more than 30 centimeters. Now, if a car wheel has a diameter of 80 centimeters, how far will the car move in ro one rotation of the tire? So, it takes, again, it takes one roll, three diameters, so 80 plus 80 plus 80, that would be 240 centimeters, a little more than 240. So, that is, I think. So, for example, we saw in the video that this tire, uh, if it rolls out, it rolls out three diameters and a little smidge more. Um, so 80 plus 80 plus 80, 240 centimeters. So if the tire rolls two rotations, that's two rolls, that would be 480 centimeters. So it would be this first roll, then it rolls it again, another 240 centimeters. All right. So what you're going to be doing today is you're going to be giving, given different size circles like A, B, C, and D. You're going to measure its radius, and then you're going to measure its diameter. So you're going to measure from radius from here to here, and that would be 3 centimeters, I think. And then this, and then you measure the diameter. This would be 6 centimeters. Then you're going to measure the circumference with your measuring tape. And so I'll say that's about going to be about 18 centimeters. And so you'll do it for circle A, B, C, and D. And here are the answers. Oh, that goes here, 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 and here. Uh, as you can tell, um, and it measure as well as I could have. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so those are stuff. And then using a calculator, uh, you're going to divide the circumference by the diameter. Oh, so these are all wrong. 
so I'm not sure what the diameter here does say is like three ish. No, it'll be two, uh, two ish, like 2.5. So we divide it. Um, hopefully, you come up with. Okay, these are the answers to the uh, calculated circumference. So, as you can tell, when I did it, my set three, six, um, actually, I just made up numbers. Um, I didn't measure it very, very well. So these are the answers to it. So, for example, if you know the diameter is 6, that's from here to here, what is the radius from here to here? 3. So what would the circumference length? 6, 6, 6, 18 centimeters. If you know the radius is 6, what would the diameter be? 6 plus 6 is 12. So it takes three diameters, right? 12, 12, 12 is 36 centimeters. Now let's go. If you know the circumference around it is 6, what would each diameter has to be? 2. And if you know the diameter is 2, then each radius has to be 1. So hopefully you understand that radius is half of a diameter, and, or diameter is double the length of a radius. And a circumference is three times the diameter, or six times the radius. So you're going to be copying this one, and then you'll be labeling the parts to it. So diameter is from here to here. Radius is from here to here. And circumference is around the perimeter. So name this line. This is the radius which is 5 centimeter, what would the diameter be? The diameter would be another, uh, another radius would be 5 centimeters, so the diameter is 10 centimeters. 10, 10, 10, that's 30 centimeters. And this one, name this line, this is called diameter, so it takes 3 of them, 12, 12, 12, that's 36 centimeters. Describe the relationship between a circle's radius and its diameter. And its diameter, a radius is half a radius is half the length of a diameter, or you can say it backward, a diameter is double or twice the length of a radius. Describe the relationship between a diameter and circumference. There are 3.14 diameters around the circle or the perimeter circle or to find its circumference you need to know 3.14 diameters so now that we got that now it's time to use formula now mathematics to start solving this now so there are two formulas you could use c equals 2 pi r or c equals pi d when would you use this one r when it is about radius when you have a question completely about radius you will use this formula when would you use this formula when the formula when the circle is about diameter. So what is the circumference of a circle whose diameter measures 12 yards? So which one, which formula should I use? Should I use the one with the radius or diameter? Ugh, the second one, the diameter. So C, write the formula, C equals pi D. Substitute the diameter. The diameter is 12. So we're going to substitute the diameter with 12. So C equals pi 12 or c equals 12 pi. Now, let's rewrite it here. c is approximately 12 pi. They would, it's, sometimes we like to estimate. Instead, sometimes we'd rather use 3 for a quick answer. It's just about, remember, there are about, about 3 diameters that wrap around a circle. So if I replace the pi with 3, the circumference is about 36 yards. What if I happen to use this one, 12 pi? I use pi as 3.14. So if I multiply 3.14 times 12, that's 8, 2, 6, placeholder, 4, 1, 3, 8, 6, 7. That is 37.68 yard. That's a more accurate um, representation of the circumference. And last but not least, leave term, leave answer terms of pi. So it's just 12 pi. 
So those are ways to find the more accurate way of finding circumference of a circle using algebra equations. So now let's look at the next question. The next question is, what is the circumference of a circle whose radius measures 6 centimeters? So which one of these formulas should I use? I will use this one because it's about radius. So it's C equals 2 pi r. So I need to substitute the radius. C equals 2 pi 6. What's a better way of saying this? What's 2 sixes? 12 pi. So in this one, C equals 12 pi. Substitute pi with 3. So it'll be 36 again. And this one, 12 pi. Substitute the pi with uh, uh, 3.14. If you multiply that, it'll be 37.68 yards. And C equals 12 pi, leaving it in terms of pi. So sometimes we uh, use pi as 3. Sometimes we use pi as 3.14. Sometimes we just leave pi alone. So why does the formula c equal pi 2 not have a 2, unlike the formula c equals 2 pi r? So this is a more thought-provoking one. Why, does, why are there two formulas for circumference? Why can't we just use one? Well, the reason why is because there are two radius that makes a diameter. That's why this one has a 2. Once you know the diameter, you can find it quickly. But if you are given the radius, you have to double the radius to get the diameter. So last thing you're going to be getting a cookie, a Maria cookie. You're going to find the diameter from here to here. Then you're going to find its radius. Then you're going to find its circumference. Hopefully, if you do it correctly, uh, the diameter, uh, the radius circumference is 3.14, or about 3 diameters. And that is our lesson on using formulas to solve circumference.